Hi guys, I'm going to walk you how to solve problem 1 in section 3-4. Now section 3-4 is about linear programming. Um, problem 1 just kind of gets you into the, the heart of the lesson and teaches you how to do a couple of things um, with linear programming. And we'll get to more of the application problems and stuff later. But first you need to learn just how to kind of manipulate the equations, where to graph and things like that. Um, I do have some steps above for you. These are the steps that I'm going to uh, find. Now our goal is to either maximize or minimize something called our objective function. We'll teach you later how to make an objective function, but if you look at problem one, they give us the objective function and it's p equals 2x plus y. We're going to save that objective until step three. So let's take a look at the different constraints that we're going to, we're going to have. Now if you were in um, a different problem, in like a real life application problem, you might have constraints like how much money you have, how much time you have, how many things you want to make. Um, and then you would make these equations, but right now they're just given to us so we can learn how to do it ourselves. We're going to graph each of these constraints. So let's call them 1, 2, 3, and 4 because there are four of them. And um, let's talk about number 1. we got to solve this guy for y. So we have x plus 2y is less than or equal to 5. Take the x over, so if 2y is less than or equal to negative x plus 5, and I'm doing nothing new to you guys, we're just solving and you get y is less than or equal to negative one-half x plus five over two. The next constraint we're gonna graph is number two. x minus y is less than or equal to two. I'm gonna take the x over, so we have negative y is less than or equal to negative x plus two, and then we're gonna switch the negatives out, so we're gonna get y is greater than, remember to flip your sign, positive x minus two. And then three, is x is greater than or equal to zero, that's just going to be a straight up and down line. And then four is y is greater than or equal to zero. That's just going to be a straight left and right line. We've already graphed the straight up and down line and the straight left and right, left and right line. Now let's graph the others. y is less than or equal to negative one half x plus five over two. Just so you know, five over two is the same thing as 2.5. Then I'm going to go up two and a half and make my y-intercept. I'm going to go down one over two. Look how I'm in the middle of my boxes since my y-intercept was by a half. Down one over two. Down one over two. Get a straight edge and connect. That is line number one. Line number two, y is greater than or equal to x minus two. I'm just gonna plot my y-intercept by going down two, then my slope is one over one. Notice it does hit exactly at a dot on the other line. We're hoping that happens for the rest of the lesson today. Connect. So we've graphed, now we need to shade. It should be below line number one. It should be above line number two. This one's line number two. And it should be bigger than x equals zero and bigger than y equals zero. All of those constraints fit inside of here. No, they will not always fit in the left part of the graph. People make that assumption, it's not right. Always check all of your shading. Okay, guys. So what are we going to do with this area here? You're going to pick test points. So if you look at step two, we solved them. We, step one, we solved them and we graphed them. Step two, we need to find each vertice. Okay, the vertices are the corners. The first corner I see is right here. That happens at zero, comma, 2.5. And these are just the corners of your shaded area. Here's the next vertice. It happens at three, one. We can label these. Next, we're going to look at 2, 0. And the last one, 0, 0. So I have four vertices that need to be test tested. Now I'm going to test those in my objective function. Again, you'll have your own objective function when it comes to word problems. They're giving it to you. There's the objective function. I told you we were going to save it until the end. 
So it's 2x plus y. And our goal is to, we're to find the points, and we're going to, here it is, maximize the profit. Sometimes you'll minimize, this time we're maximizing. Let's plug in 0 for x, so we get 2 times 0 plus 2.5. When you multiply that out, because I'm plugging it in for x and for y, we will end up getting 2.5. Now let's plug in 3, 1. So I'll do 2 times 3 plus 1. That's 2 times x plus y. That's 7. Then I'll do 2 times 2 plus 0. That's 4. Again, I plugged in for x and I plugged in for y. Then I'll do 2 times 0 plus 0 is 0. There is a clear maximizing and it happens at 7. Here's what you are going to state. The point 3 comma 1 maximizes the objective function to 7. That's because it happened at point 3, 1, and 7. The quick overview, we graphed each of these. We found out where to shade. We found the different corners. And we tested the different corners into the original objective function. We will apply these to things like maximizing a profit, minimizing your time, minimizing the cost to yourself on the next couple of examples.